This week's episode is sponsored by everyone's favorite real estate closing attorney, the Halls Law Firm. With locations in Swanee, Tucker, South Atlanta, and offering mobile closings, the Halls Law Firm can accommodate all of your residential and commercial real estate needs. Their full legal staff and knowledgeable attorneys set the tone for all of our clients' luxury closing day experiences. If you are looking for a preferred closing attorney that is flexible, mobile, knowledgeable, and creates a one-of-a-kind experience, make sure you put the Halls Law Firm on your next contract. Happy Wednesday, everyone, and welcome to another episode of your favorite podcast, Real Talk Atlanta. We are your hosts, Taisha Renee. I'm Ashley Luray, in case you don't recognize me today. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Nika W. And welcome back, y'all. Welcome back, welcome back. Before we jump into today, we have to give a shout out to our fourth co-host, River Bonds. Our girl, River, is not here today. She is outside <laughs> living her best life. <laughs> it's her birthday. birthday. Happy birthday, birthday. River. <laughs> we will see you this weekend in Miami. Ooh, period. Period. <laughs> <Turn up. laughs> but in her absence, we do have a very, very, very special guest joining us today. If you don't know, myself, Ashley, and Nika are all a part of a real estate team at Watson Realty Co. If you are not familiar with the real estate team, make sure you tune into episode 26, where we go into details of what that looks like. But... We are on the real estate team called the AE team. team. It's the so best it's the team. AE team takeover. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and what does AE stand for? What does it stand for? The infamous. The infamous. Ariana Ellsbury. Ariana Ellsbury. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Hey, my girls. Hey, hey girls. We are so glad to have you here. Seriously, like, I am just... Feel of joy. Feel right. Of joy. I can't waiting. stop smiling. <laughs> I've been waiting for the invitation. Okay, it's here. What episode is this now? I've this been waiting. <laughs> <laughs> we always talk about you in our other episodes. Yeah. I'm pretty sure everybody be like, we love no. Ariane because you ain't going to never say nothing bad about my girl. Right. <laughs> I love it. I love it. The loyalty is real. Okay, And I love always. my team. I love my girl. Yes. Oh, my God. To be here. This is such a surreal moment. Oh, my God. I, know. Really I can't stop is. smiling. I can't either. Y'all don't even get started. What did I say before this episode? <laughs> <laughs> no crying. That was the no rule. No crying. Yeah. We, might, we might shed a few tears, guys. We so get emotional. Stay with us. Okay. Stay with us. <laughs> but before we get into it, let's introduce us to you. We know yeah. that you're an amazing wife, an amazing mom, friend, sister, daughter, mentor, real estate, Miss 21 Million mm -hmm. So Period. The list goes on. Period. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> you let us know. Let the people know what they need to know about you personally, mm -hmm. not even professionally. Okay. Personally. Well. As they said, I'm Ariane Ellsbury. Um, I am a wife um, of a amazing, handsome, beautiful, green-eyed man named Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've been married for going on five years. Wow. Yes. Um, soon. Um, and I am a mother of two young boys, Jackson and Jordan, um, my youngest is six months old, so I did just have a baby mm -hmm. literally wow. yesterday. Literally, literally, um, six months ago, and um, Jackson is two. Like Taisha said, I'm a, a friend, a sister, a daughter. Um, I am a team lead. Mm -hmm. of yes. these amazing ladies, including Beauty and um, William, William, who are not here, of course, um, and. I I mean, I do wear a lot of hats, but <laughs> outside of that, I'm a child of God. I love the Lord. Mm -hmm. I, I live in um, spirit in everything I do, and um, yeah, that is, that's me. I love that. We love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, and you know, um, you're pretty popular on social media, and they love you there. I mean, you know, I have a few friends. Right. <laughs> a, few a few followers. A few followers. A few followers. But I've, I've grown that over time through being intentional. Mm -hmm. I did not start there, so um, we can talk about that a little bit. And we that's sure what can. we're going to talk yeah. about, right? <laughs> being a real estate mogul, mm -hmm. like, how does that feel? Like, who? how can you describe yourself professionally? Mm. So that, besides oh, that girl, right? Besides, besides that, girl, that girl, it's interesting because it's like how other people view you isn't really how you view yourself, and right. not, not in an aspect of you know I don't think I'm that girl. Humbly, yeah. respectfully, <laughs> <I am. laughs> respectfully, but I just do. I just 
live. I just work. I just help, you know. Mm. And somewhere along the way, I feel like people have seen that work um, throughout the years. Mm -hmm. And they have given me those titles. I don't think I've given myself those titles. Um, So I don't know how I look at myself. I'm a hard worker. Mm -hmm. I am somebody who does not see limits Mm -hmm. in anything that I do. Period. Um, There is no ceiling. There's nothing that I can't accomplish and that I don't believe anybody else can accomplish. So I think my mindset just in truly desiring to accomplish so much um, within short periods of time Mm -hmm. has really elevated me, you know, in in a short period of time. Right. Um, where, I mean, I'm that girl, I guess. <laughs> I love that. And I feel like as our mentor, you really instill that mentality into, into us. us. Everybody's no ceiling, you know. There's and no ceiling. Excellence in all things. Yeah. Do it, and do it, do it good or do it, don't, don't do it at all. Mm. And how long have you been in real estate? So I am ending my sixth year, so I'm going into year seven. Lucky wow. number seven. Lucky number seven. 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 Yeah. Think about that. Wow. Wow. Ending wow. Year six, going into lucky number seven. We're so going I to think, forty million now. <laughs> <laughs> She's selling all the Jesus. houses. <laughs> selling all the houses. Yes. Yeah. So year seven, um, lucky number seven. Yeah, I'm. I'm excited to see what what seven brings because the last few years have definitely been amazing, mm-hmm. amazing mm-hmm. years for me. The first few have not. Right. <laughs> but the last few have been um, amazing, and that goes into. You know, me helping other agents in their beginning because I didn't have that help. I didn't mm-hmm. have somebody to pour right. the thing. So I do believe I could have done a lot, a lot faster. But because I didn't have those tools and resources and somebody along the way, you know, it's taken a little bit of time. So I can appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I feel like a lot of agents, too, when they come into this industry, they kind of struggle to keep, like, pushing along and going through the years and stuff. So I really wanted to pick your brain a little bit about, Mm -hmm. you know, like why real estate at first? Like what made you like fall in love with real estate? Mm -hmm. I guess I would say. That's such a good question. (laughs) (laughs) So first I was working somewhere that I just don't think brought out the best of who I was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Relate. I, in any occupation I've ever had, operated in excellence. Mm-hmm. I was a server. I sold phones. You know, I worked in corporate leasing. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was still the same person, but something felt really off about where I was serving. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like I really lived into that maximum potential of who I was capable of being. And I just wasn't happy. I didn't feel mm-hmm. my I didn't feel my purpose in mm-hmm. any other job that I was with. And so real estate came about when I'm like, how can I still be myself, still operate in excellence, still be able to um, not still, but I desire to be able to have the freedom, create mm-hmm. my own schedule, be my own boss. Um, and have limitless income, mm-hmm. everything pointed limitless. to real estate. <laughs> limitless. Limitless income. Yeah. Let's choose to yeah. 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 Mm. I love the sound of that. Yes, there's limitless income. And so before I even saw what that really looked like, mm-hmm. I knew that real estate, that's where it was possible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so... At that point, I, you know, I had to figure out how am I going to get there? Mm-hmm. What that you know, look like? What that? What does that look like? I didn't know what was on the other side, but, you know, went through the process, get your license, all of that thing. And I realized that real estate was where I belonged when I went through my first transaction and I forgot that I was getting paid. Wow. I remember being at closing and didn't even realize I was getting a check for it. Mm. <laughs> wow. So as as like stressed out as I was regarding like being new mm-hmm. and going through it and not knowing the joy that I felt through the process, even through like the fears and all mm-hmm. of that, I was like, okay, this, this, is, this is, is it. it. This, this, is, this is, it. is it. Like I did not, for the first time, I was not working for the money. Mm-hmm. I was working for what I was actually doing through the process. Loving and getting that. to the end mm-hmm. and loving what I was doing. Mm-hmm. And then I got rewarded for it. Mm-hmm. Yes. So continuing to go through that process again and again and again. And that's not saying that what we don't do is work. Okay. Oh, because it's it work. is. And you're working for you're working for the money that you make. Mm-hmm. But to be able to say that I would do this despite of if I got that check, 
I think that's pretty powerful. That's how I love that. That is. is. Ooh, that's a passion. No, that's, that's a passion. true. That's how you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you truly know. It's mm-hmm. like being fulfilled. Being fulfilled. I feel like I have the same exact feeling every time I close. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, oh, my God, I really changed someone's life. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. It's more about it's the purpose. impact. Mm-hmm. The impact. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I love that. So now we're going to get into the juicy stuff. Let's get into the tea. Let's talk real estate. Let's talk real estate. (laughs) Let's talk real estate. So I know, like, um, on social media, Mm -hmm. right? We're going back to social media. Mm -hmm. And a couple, not a couple months ago, but about a year ago, I would say. that very famous video of yours. Which one? Right. <laughs> There's several of those. Um, Be specific. Of you <laughs> being in your shoes, doing what you do best, mm-hmm. which is servicing your clients in mm-hmm. excellence, right? Yeah. And you was going through a very, very um, specific deal. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that really, when people saw this video and they came across you, they really saw and felt through the video the emotion, mm-hmm. this mm-hmm. turbulence of you you know, of being a realtor. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to kind of, you know, leave the floor to you and see, you know, um, what is the importance of being a realtor in a transaction? Like, Ooh, and that's (laughs) such a good deal to reference. So I'll start by answering your question. What is the importance of being a realtor? There are so many things. (laughs) (laughs) There's so many things of, what a realtor's importance is Mm -hmm. in a real estate transaction. And I think that a lot of people think that we are transactional, so we just manage the paperwork. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why a lot of people think, I can do it for sale by owner because this realtor just manages the paperwork. Right. No. Right. The realtor in the transaction is going to literally be that person that, one, is your advisor. Mm -hmm. Yes. They are going to... Um, walk you through every single part of that process so that you are aware. You may be a first-time home buyer, right? Mm-hmm. You may not know what is going to come up in this process. That realtor is going to be the person that lets you know this is what's coming up. Mm-hmm. I am aware of what this hurdle may arise when we get mm-hmm. there, so I'm going to let you know through the process what that looks like. Mm-hmm. right? And so it's important to make sure that you have somebody not only that is educated, mm-hmm. knowledgeable, aware, But somebody who has done the groundwork to make sure that you are protected, Mm -hmm. right? So Mm -hmm. if you, as an agent, don't understand the contract and able to interpret a contract for a buyer, Mm. you have done them a disservice. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about the main things that an agent should be doing, it's, understanding and interpreting contracts Mm -hmm. and protecting the best interests of the client. If you can't do those two things, you don't even need to be working with anybody. Right. You don't need a license. You don't need a license. (laughs) Give the license up. And and, and that's not anything that people know, you know, in the beginning process. Mm -hmm. Right. But that purchase and sale agreement, a buyer will read that and see something different than you will. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's up to us to be able to interpret that. Mm-hmm. Of, this is what it means for you. Mm-hmm. And this is how I'm able to protect you through these contingencies within the contract mm-hmm. when it comes to saving earnest money. Mm-hmm. People have five, ten, twenty, fifty thousand dollars on the line. You are that person. It is your responsibility to to make sure that that's protected. Right. right. So we are responsible for that. That is very important for yeah. an agent mm-hmm. to be able to do. You got to treat that earnest money like it's yours. You do. <laughs> okay. know? And if you don't have an agent that that no. feels that way, mm-hmm. that that earnest money is like their money, mm-hmm. they're not going to care as much. If, if your due diligence passes and they didn't give you that update, right. You know, right. they're not really invested as much as, as they should yeah. be. Yeah, definitely. And as a buyer, like how do you make sure that you know that you're the agent that's representing you is knows what they're doing. <laughs> Interview them. Yeah. Yeah. I am all for buyers interviewing their realtors. When people say, Hey Ariane, um, you know, I'm I'm inquiring on different realtors that I'm looking for to purchase my first home. You know, do you mind if we schedule a Zoom call? And I commend them and I say, mm-hmm. Wow, a lot of people don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of realtors and 
we may all be good at doing a few things within the transaction, the paperwork, mm-hmm. but what is that, pers- that person, person going to brain. do? Mm-hmm. That's that extra step, that right. extra step of protection or that extra effort to make sure that you are getting everything that you need. Mm-hmm. So I would say interview. It's kind of hard to know mm-hmm. without asking questions. Mm-hmm. Social media will only tell you just a few things. What you, you want to hear. Right. Exactly. You might see that they close the deal. I've worked with agents where I see on social media, but I've co-opted with them, and I'm like, hoo hoo, you done <laughs> tricked them. You done <laughs> tricked them. <laughs> the lies. <laughs> I've seen some catfish, and Listen. I'm like, oh, my gosh. If only people knew mm-hmm. yeah. what actually they were getting into. So I am all for an interview for an agent. Absolutely. That. Absolutely. And that's also why buyers need to do their due diligence, too. Like, you mm-hmm. need to know what to ask an agent up front. Mm-hmm. Ask those questions so you can figure out, who am I working with? You know, this mm-hmm. is a really big investment. Absolutely. So. Mm-hmm. What are your processes? Mm-hmm. You know, what are some things that I should know? How yeah, How is I my spend? earnest money protected? You know, right. there's right. questions that buyers should be asking when you are going to be purchasing um, a home. What you don't know will hurt you. Right. Yes. And, and whose hands money. it is in yeah. will also hurt you. <laughs> right. <laughs> I've seen some things, and you you don't even know until someone reach out to you and say, I've been going through this, and so-and-so loves my earnest money, and I've been going through this experience. You're like, wow. like I'm so sorry. Is it I'm so sorry. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's, that, it's the agent that has the strategies to be able to overcome those hurdles mm-hmm. because you will go through them. Mm-hmm. In every transaction, there will be a hurdle, but it's the agent who is able to navigate the buyer through those hurdles that is going to, you know, have the yeah. most success and referrals right. because you've done that extra work. Mm-hmm. Have and you heard any hor- horror stories of, like, people who haven't used agents and, like, oh, my God, I should have used a realtor? Mm-hmm. Whether um, from, like, the buying or the selling side? I mean, yeah. I've, I've heard of people who haven't, and I think it's, Somewhere in the transaction, you encounter a loss. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So rather, sorry, rather, <laughs> rather, <laughs> so rather it's a lack of representation through the transaction on certain things that could have been, you know, handled a lot differently and mm-hmm. a lot better. Right. It could be you could have saved more money, mm-hmm. you know, as a buyer, or you could have made more money mm-hmm. as a seller if you had a different agent. You mm-hmm. may not have had to pay those closing costs to that buyer because mm-hmm. your representative agent did not negotiate on your behalf mm-hmm. as good as they could. So, yeah, I've heard of different instances and different scenarios of sales. Like, oh, my God, I, I wonder why they sold for that. Oh, okay, they didn't even use an agent to be properly, properly represented right. because they wanted to save 6% commission. Well, right. look how much they ended up losing. Yeah. It cost, right, right, yeah. right. cost you way more to not have to yeah. pay less. Mm-hmm. Yeah, And to be honest, I literally had a client interview me once, right? And I totally, you know, like this was a referral as well. Mm-hmm. And she's like, you know, it's between you and a family member and everything. Oh, and I was like, you know, it's <laughs> like, right, the family member. She just got her license yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, and then ended up finding out that the family member made her pay extra um, on the commission. Oh, wow. mm-hmm. Yeah, extra cause. So I was like, oh, my God, like. Happens. So she ended up going with the family member? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Mm-hmm. So it was like, it's fine, it's fine. But anyway, like when we were talking about, you know, the way that as an agent, those responsibilities, I know that, well, we all know how well those agents that took your class from the AEC Academy, <clears throat> which we'll, which go, we'll, get, we, to. we'll, we'll yes. get to in a few, <laughs> but um, any tips for new agents coming mm-hmm. into this industry with um, those high expectations of how easy this business could be? And it's you not. got time? We got plenty of time. <laughs> Nothing but time. Take a sip. Take a sip and let us know. <laughs> Look at me Any tips to drink. from AE? Listen. AE advice. <laughs> if you are an agent looking to get into this industry, I would say, for one, don't look at real estate as a get-rich-quick overnight, you know, what you see on Instagram. I can make money because, you know, I'm going into entrepreneurship and I'm going to show a house, sell a house. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's number one. Number two is you have to give this your all. If you're not looking to go into real estate and submerge yourself into this industry, you are going to struggle. You are going to struggle. 
And I think a lot of people think, you know, I could just, you know, use my my family member, my friend, and, you know, I can just sell a house, a sell a house every now and then. Mm-hmm. But if you truly want to reap the benefits of what real estate can really you give bring, you, mm-hmm. you have to have not one foot in and one foot out. Mm-hmm. That is really how you are going to see benef- benefits within this industry. You have to come in knowing that. And if somebody is coming from a nine-to-five corporate job, you have to take that hat off and be able to put an entrepre- entrepreneur, entrepreneur hat mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. of no one's going to tell you what to do. Mm-hmm. Right? Nobody is going to tell you this is where you get this client. This is how you do this. You are literally building this from scratch. And hopefully you are able to connect with a mentor or mm-hmm. a team to get guidance and get mentorship. And when it comes to that, new agents – be selective in who you're learning from. Mm-hmm. I don't necessarily agree with people who are taking information from a lot of different places mm-hmm. because if you don't know where that information is coming from, it's going to be hard to implement that into your business. Let me give you an example. There's two different type of agents. You have a relational agent Mm -hmm. and you have a transactional agent. Mm -hmm. A transactional agent is somebody who may not necessarily be using their personality to generate sales. They Mm -hmm. may be doing cold calls. They may be purchasing ads. They generate leads based off of the next, the number, Mm -hmm. right? And there are people who do very well at that. Mm Mm-hmm. But then you have relational agents like myself who connect well organically with people, who build relationships based on attracting clients to them. Mm -hmm. Those people, you have to hone in on that. So don't go in to real estate trying to be Miss Social Media yeah. out mm-hmm. the gate. When you're when not. You <laughs> may not be Miss Social oh, Media. Right. Right. Ooh, and that's it's okay. okay. It's okay. Yeah, that's a gem. You have to tap into who you are organically mm-hmm. and what you are good at, and that is going to be how you can best funnel you, funnel your way up and build your pipeline and start mm-hmm. building your business. But mm-hmm. when you start looking at other agents, agents. on Instagram, mm-hmm. she's doing this, she's doing that. Okay, maybe I'm going to have to do this to be successful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't have to. There's multiple ways in real estate to be successful as a real estate agent. You have to tap into who you are naturally and hone in on that and how you can present yourself to your audience mm-hmm. and build your business. Mm-hmm. Because good. they're going to feel it. It's going to be a some they're type of They're it. going yeah. to feel Feel it. Yeah, they're gonna feel some type of fake. So right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're like, that is not her. That's not her. <laughs> right. That's not her. Right. right. So, yeah, I do believe that there are things you do need to tap into mm-hmm. and you need to stretch yourself mm-hmm. organically, right? Mm-hmm. Um, out of your comfort zone. But don't pretend to be somebody you're not to get business that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tap into the to the ways that you are able to organically that feel, you know, right for feel you. Feel natural, to do. yeah. Mm-hmm. Feel natural. Mm-hmm. Figure yeah. out what type of agent that you are. That's good. I love that answer. Mm-hmm. I think oh that God. goes for like all entrepreneurs too. Oh, no, seriously. Oh, whatever everyone. you're Everybody doing. gets into a comparison mode yeah. and you yeah. feel like there's a one way road to the success within that industry. Mm-hmm. It may not be the doing, way that you think. Yeah, it may not be the person who's on TikTok doing these real estate TikToks. Like right. you can't just follow that path. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. I've tried. <laughs> I'm not on TikTok, right? <laughs> but I have accomplished a lot in real estate, but right. I'm not trying to be that person. I might tap in. But yeah, listen, I'm not trying to be that girl because I realize it's just not my lane. Yeah. I, you know, I've tapped into my lane. I figured out what works for me um, with, with building clients organically and attracting clients the way that I see works. Mm-hmm. And that's what I've went full-fledged with. And mm-hmm. now I can tap into other streams of building revenue, but I've never cold called. I've never purchased an ad. I've never paid for a lead I've never done those things but I on it (laughs) but I have put money into investing in my presence on social media and quality content and branding and marketing and presenting myself in a way where people can find me Mm -hmm. that has worked Mm -hmm. I found what works for me Mm mm-hmm and you're in year six, so people new relatives need to understand that it may take some time. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? It's not gonna happen as soon as you get your it license. Is not. It is not. Then you're like, oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, and right. I'm gonna get the client. It's gonna take some time to kind of realize and feel what works best for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that has to do with building that trust with your audience. Like they kind of saw you, you know, like growing mm-hmm. and pouring organically. Yes. And they made that, you know, like connection. And while they seen the growth, that's when the support is like Oh, mm-hmm. my God. Like, I've seen her. I've seen her right. working. So now, like, mm-hmm. And I you have to her. understand 
there's different types of clients that you're going to attract, right? So I didn't always have the amount of followers that I have now. Mm -hmm. And I think people forget that. Mm -hmm. They think, well, you have this many followers. So of course you have this business. I haven't always had that number. Right. I'm just, right. I just have that number now. Right. So you have to see where you are now and you have to continue to nurture your business based on that level. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you have 2000 followers, you have an audience. What I tell a lot of people is you actually have an audience before you think you have an audience. Right. Mm -hmm. People are not going to make themselves known to you at that time mm -hmm. until they're ready to buy a house. Mm -hmm. You always tell us that. that I right. always say that. that you true. need to show up every single day mm -hmm. as if everybody is watching what you're doing in that moment of, of you know, building your business. Mm -hmm. So... Don't be discouraged based off of the likes that you're not getting, mm -hmm. the reposts, the people who are emailing you. It will pay off. Mm -hmm. You just have to continue nurturing it and continue showing up socially or however you are for your business every day. Mm -hmm. yep. And when it comes, it's going to come. And when and it be comes, ready. it's going to be, be ready. ready. Be ready. And be, be ready. ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. The worst thing you can do as an agent yep. is not prepare for the business before <laughs> it comes. Because yes. it will. If you continue working, continue nurturing your database, and continue showing up every day, Hard work will pay off. Yep. Yeah, so you got to stay ready. Or what is it? What's the saying? Stay ready so you, you don't got to get ready. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Because that's how you drop the ball. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. So just speaking with you for a few minutes, as you guys can see, she is magical. I magical, mean, phenomenal. Just speaking life into us, into our audience, we thank you again for coming here. I'm but, here. you know, we're excited to talk about your new venture Okay, <laughs> um, which is the AE Academy. Yes. Tell us about that. It's so exciting seeing you just walking in your purpose. Mm -hmm. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> when I sat in my real estate class six years ago and I was looking at Ann, who was my instructor. That's her name. Hey, Ann. Hey, hey, Ann. Hey, you're watching. Hey, girl. I'm here. <laughs> I said one day. I am going to teach real estate. One day I am going to be at a place where I'm going to be able to help other agents. It's always been within me to help other people. Mm -hmm. But obviously you can't do that without the experience, the knowledge, the tools that you have to build first. Mm -hmm. right? So just backtracking, I remember sitting in that class and saying, one day I'm going to have a real estate school. Mm. You know, I'm going to have a platform of teaching agents how to Still, mm -hmm. Right. And, you know, I didn't know what magnitude at the time, but I knew I wanted to have my own school. And I mean, like, one day I want to have my own building. Like, I want to have. Here you go like, again. Dreaming oh big. God, again. Like, I know. <laughs> so right now the AE Academy is in seed form. But I just wanted to put that out there that this was manifested when I got my license. Mm -hmm. so, I love it. The I AE love Academy. it. Let's get into it. Yeah. Let's get into and it. Because you are an educator. Thank You're you. an educator. You're a Thank teacher. You. Oh, a a leader. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So the AE Academy started. Well, one, I saw a demand. As I'm working and mm -hmm. building, you know, I'm I'm just in my grind mm -hmm. of building my business and, and doing all the things. Um, I started seeing a, de a demand of agents who were asking me, can you be my mentor? Mm -hmm. Can you answer questions? Do you offer one-on-ones? People reached out to me and wanted to learn. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't actually something that I saw. It was something that sought me, mm -hmm. right? So I started seeing that. And then um, as I'm working, grinding, trying to reach 21 million, you know, all those things, um, I started realizing, you know what? What I'm doing right now, there's certain things that I feel like agents need to know. Mm -hmm. Like there were certain skills that I felt like I had within this industry that I did not see a lot of people have mm -hmm. as I experienced other agents. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to keep the information to myself. I want to spread the knowledge. I want us all to be great together, you know? Mm -hmm. And so one year ago, that's when I said, I want to teach a class called Writing Winning Offers mm -hmm. and teach agents how I'm literally winning offers Multiple, in this crazy market. In a crazy in market. Crazy, crazy market. market. I mean, offers, 20 offers, 30 offers. Mm -hmm. One was 35 offers on a multi-million dollar house. Mm -hmm. And I'm winning these offers. And I'm like, I have to help other agents mm -hmm. do the same. Mm -hmm. And so I created this course 
um, rolled it out, and I mean the success of that class Listen. fueled. That was an amazing class. That was. Worth every penny. It was. Worth every penny. Y'all got in now. Yeah, we was in. (laughs) We was in the background. We was in the background. (laughs) They was in the background. They was in the class. A live class. Uh Okay. Um, But after that class, literally that was the, I would say, benchmark for me of Okay, this is when I birthed the AE Academy. Mm-hmm. This feels good. Class. Yeah, this is this feels. Good. How did they feel? It, it, <laughs> it just, I mean, just the feedback. Mm-hmm. You know, agents from all over the U.S. Mm-hmm. reaching out to me saying how that class impacted their careers. Mm-hmm. Wow, you know what I mean. So yeah. that feels good for me to know. Wow, I helped people win offers. Like, mm-hmm. I helped you make money that maybe you wouldn't have made in that moment. Right, right. that feels amazing. Oh my gosh. Um. So. From that class, then I did the second class, becoming Mm -hmm. the complete buyer's agent. And then from there, I said, I want to turn this into something. Mm -hmm. I want to turn this into a bigger impact where Mm -hmm. I can create a educational platform, a continuing education Mm -hmm. for agents after they get their real estate license. Mm -hmm. Because when you get your license, you don't know anything. You don't know a thing. You don't know a thing. So (laughs) I want to be that person that helps bridge that gap mm-hmm. between having your real estate license and actually getting to selling work and mm-hmm. doing yeah. the business yeah. mm-hmm. and seeing my agents being able to succeed off of the AE way right. like right. seeing mm-hmm. you guys just implement. one play just one play mm-hmm. <laughs> one play you just watch it once <laughs> implement those things that I've taught and seeing that succeed in your businesses firsthand, mm-hmm. I'm like, I want to give more to more agents. So that's how the AE Academy was actually birthed. And from there, I've just been working on building out what it's going to look like. Mm-hmm. It's going to roll out next year. We're excited. We're excited. Yes. We're excited. Where agents will be able to connect. Um, I've done one-on-ones with agents all over the U.S. this year. But next year, um, agents will have the opportunity to connect on a more intimate, exclusive level, um, have a community of agents, you know, we'll have master classes like we were, but it'll be exclusive to mm-hmm. those who are in the membership. I love that. Um, so it, it, I'm working. I, That's going to be so good. so good. That's going to be yeah. so good. Yeah. And you I know what's it. so funny? Because I got my license a, a year ago, <laughs> May of 2021, and when I graduated, mm-hmm. not graduated, <laughs> but graduated, when right. I finished real estate school, I realized, wow, I really don't know anything. No. Right. And I found you on Instagram, mm-hmm. and this is like way before I met these ladies and was on the team, but I invested in one of your courses. Mm-hmm. Oh, and you did? I remember that. Yes, mm-hmm. I did. It was actually a couple. I remember you were doing them like every two weeks yep. or something mm-hmm. like that. Yep. And when I tell you... Honestly, it really changed like so much. I learned so much mm-hmm. within wow. those one hour zooms yes. compared to three months of real estate. Exactly. Zoom. So I, I'm a living testament. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So those classes are so worth it. I think it. it's yeah. because it's relatable. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's the way that you mm-hmm. translate information information yeah. <laughs> it's a talent it's truly a talent because you know we we take ce courses oh, and yeah. everything and sometimes they, they just sit there okay Fall this asleep. year yeah, falling they they okay for the credit it's just for the credit apply it where yeah you know, but having examples and really mm-hmm. like breaking down information just like how we have to do for our clients you right. interpret mm-hmm. the contract for mm-hmm. your buyers or sellers so they can understand same thing when you're teaching you have to make it make sense so that it's able to be grasped, grasped, and you know translated, so and that you understand. can actually act. Right. act it can on click, it. right? It right. can click. Like this is right. what I need to do. Mm-hmm. So that has that has been my hopes and my mission. Okay. I love it. We are in business for ourselves, but we don't have to be in business by ourselves. So, so that's I the mission that. for the AE Academy. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! And oh. can you share with us, like, really quickly, like a success story from one of your one on ones or you know, someone oh you've connected God. with through let the Let me age. tell you recently, yes. I can go <laughs> on and on about them. But let me tell you the most recent one that made me feel good, and I actually posted this on my story. So, of course, you know, people have one offers, mm-hmm. but um, just recently I did a one-on-one with a young lady in New Jersey. This was her first listing for $1.65 million. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Right. Jersey. And, mm-hmm. and she invested in your one on one. She invested in my one on one, and her listing was sitting for three months. 
Wow. Um, three months. And she called and the purpose of the um, the consultation was I need help getting my listing sold. I wow. need your advice. Mm-hmm. And we sat a, an hour on the call. You know, I asked her the important questions of the listing. We looked at it. I saw her pictures. I asked everything she's done. We talked about marketing, every single thing that she's done. And I let her know what to do from here and everything that I felt she done she did wrong. Mm-hmm. She told me that she got advice from an agent that was in the business for 20 years mm. on what to do and that her agent told her not to do this, not to do that. And I said, I don't know why you would get that advice. Like this is a multi-million dollar listing. listing. This right. is a 1.65 million dollar listing. This isn't something you just throw on the market. Mm-hmm. Right. And so I said, um, how did that advice work for you? <laughs> I'm still sitting. Well, I'm still here. <laughs> still sitting, and that's why we're on this call. And I said, if you take my advice, I can almost guarantee you, you will have a buyer for this house. I said, this house is amazing. Mm-hmm. It's just not showcasing properly. So we went down a list of everything I told her to do, picture by picture. I said, you need to remove this picture. You need to stage the house. <laughs> you need to paint these cabinets. You need to remove the listing. You need to re-promote it. You need to do an open house. You need to do a broker's open. I gave her all these things that she did not do. Mm-hmm. She was literally setting them up while we were on the consultation call. She said, one thing about me, Ariane, I will put things into action as long as I know what to do. She's literally setting up these appointments while she's on the phone with me. And um, immediately after, you know, she does everything um, necessary. And I want to say it was... A week and a half to two weeks, and she texts me, and she says, Ariane, I did everything you said, and we have a buyer. Oh, wow. We're under contract. No. I that swear is so to amazing. you. That I'm is looking so at good. that. Te- it was maybe, t- yeah, I'm going to say two weeks. It was two weeks after our call, and she implemented right away. She did everything immediately. I mean, you can't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Immediately. Three you months. better. You better. Three months. Months. You don't have no time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But time. <laughs> she did every single thing, and she sent me this long text message saying, thank you so much for your advice and for your help. I wow. can't thank you enough. She got a buyer. It was slightly under the 1.65, mm-hmm. but... She got under contract and she's on her way to closing and she's about to make a forty five thousand dollar commission. Oh, good. Hello. Hey, friend. Hey, friend. Congratulations. Don't forget me. Don't forget me, friend. (laughs) So, her first listing, but she invested in information that she felt like she didn't know. She connected with me. Um, I gave her the information. She implemented it. She's under contract and she's about to close. And she wow. said, "When you drop the AE Academy, I am all she in." She the first one. I, I am all the in. The I am first waiting one for the notification. <laughs> she is going to be the first member outside of y'all. Oh, oh yeah. in the AE Academy. So that was the success story for me. It made wow. me feel so That's good. So oh, the that impact. Is a, it has been like fully launched yet. You yeah. Know? yeah, it ain't even started. Yeah, right. yeah. but <laughs> that's what I love about like the AE Academy is that it it like translates to any market mm-hmm. right any agent can use that, no matter any where you agent, are no matter where you are you don't even have to be a new agent mm-hmm. even seasoned agents mm-hmm. i've had um schedule one-on-ones mm-hmm. or take my courses and said wow mm-hmm. i've been doing this for so many years but your fresh perspective on how to write an offer or how to represent a seller or so many different avenues i've learned from you and i've mm-hmm. had success from it so that feels good for me that mm-hmm. vets mm-hmm. seasoned agents past six years have said that they can learn from me. Right. Yeah, that's really that's good. amazing. And motivation to keep going. Yeah. That yes. you, you know, you're actually aligning mm-hmm. with what you plan. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I love so that. Walking in purpose. Make yeah. sure y'all sign up when it drops. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to stop it here. There's limited spots. There's limited Listen. spots. There's VIP membership. Y'all get a sneak peek <laughs> of what's coming. Make sure y'all signing up. Yeah. I think this is like a really, really w- a good way to kind of like, you know, wrap it all okay. up and... Oh, my God. I'm not getting emotional. Not ready. No. (laughs) (laughs) But, yeah, like, really, really thank you for coming in and, you know, pouring into our audience. And really, I know they've been waiting on hearing from you. Mm Mm-hmm. Right. Well, I've been waiting to be here. I've been waiting to have you. So the time is here. Everybody waiting. The wait is over. The wait is over. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to the AET. Cheers. Cheers to the AET. I love it. So as you guys know favorite se- segment of this episode with our question of the day with our realtor bay go ahead <laughs> miss ashley, ashley Lorraine. Lorraine. how you feeling yes. ashley yes. i feel good especially after this talk we just had that <laughs> yes. conversation like that was so good so yes our favorite segment ariana if you don't know or anyone if it's your first time watching the show we have this segment called the question of the day where we take questions from our audience or our listeners. So someone on Instagram asked us a question, and you can submit your questions on Instagram or via email at 
Real Talk Atlanta on Instagram or Real Talk ATL Pod at gmail.com. So let me pull up the question. Um, one of our listeners from Instagram, I'm going to say her name today. Her name is The Real Amariel. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Sorry, girl. Um, <laughs> so she wanted to know, and we thought this would be perfect for you, Ariane, okay. to answer. Sure. What is the hardest thing about real estate? Mm. Mm. There's so many. Real estate. Oh, Lord. <laughs> real, estate. Is real estate. Real estate. <laughs> real estate. <laughs> the answer. What is the hardest thing about real estate? There, there's a lot of mm-hmm. um, hard in real estate. Um, but one thing that comes to mind when I when I hear that question, and for me personally, um, I would say the balance. The balance of the demands of real estate, it's literally 24 hours, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So every client, buyer, seller, agent, attorney, everybody is trying to meet a timeline. Everybody has, you know, something that they're looking to accomplish within what they're looking to do. So... When you have boundaries within pers- your personal life and things that you want to do or going on vacation or, you know, wearing multiple hats, mm-hmm. being a wife, having kids, wanting to shut down, you have to be very, very intentional in setting those boundaries within mm-hmm. your business yes. to your buyers, your, I mean, your clients and at home. Mm-hmm. And so for me, that is an ongoing, mm-hmm. you know, struggle that I still am working my way through. Um, but that is a challenge because there is no turning off necessarily, um, when, when someone has a need, you know, when you Mm -hmm. you have a contingency within real estate that ends on the night where you're trying to go to dinner, you know, you have to figure out how am I still going to protect my client Mm -hmm. while I'm still trying to do things within my personal life Mm -hmm. as well. And especially if you're operating at a high volume, not just one client, if you have 10 15 clients under contract and you're trying to maintain a personal life as well. And you have all these people who are counting on you and looking for you for you for advice and you know, all of these things, it could be a challenge. Mm -hmm. So you have to be organized. You have to set boundaries. Um, Yeah. 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 Boundaries. Oh yeah. yeah. That was the, that was a big struggle for me last year that I feel like I'm struggling. Still struggling. But I feel like I'm a lot better because with my clients, especially as a new agent, I'll say this. Don't be so thirsty for the business where you start losing yourself Mm -hmm. and losing your personal life and losing things that are important to you because you feel like you have to answer the phone at 11 o'clock at night because your client wants to talk. Mm -hmm. No, sir. No, Mm ma'am. You know, I'm sleeping. Taisha. Taisha (laughs) goes to bed early. Early. I'm in bed. She's in bed. Yeah. (laughs) Don't call me after nine. So if that's your standard and your boundary, you need to stick to that. When you're in your buyer's consultation, you need to set, set it up front. Mm-hmm. After nine o'clock, that's when I go into my person, you know, my personal time. Mm-hmm. But I will be sure to answer any questions or acknowledge any, you know, concerns you have the next day. Yeah. Setting those boundaries up front, that's I feel important. like when you go into real estate, it is going to be a struggle to balance. But mm-hmm. finding that balance within your life is going to be key. Yeah, that's true. That's important. Oh, that was that what was good. You? I feel for me is the same thing mm-hmm. because I had a closing on Monday and. It I went out. Oh, yeah. He was on flying the in. Yes. <laughs> Coming in, come flying. I had to come back to work. You know, I had a duty. And then it lasted all the way to six. I got a text from my other client that we're supposed to show the next day. And they're like, where are the schedule for the next show? And I'm like, oh, my God. There's still more work to do. There's more like work to do. There's more work Never to do. Stop. I'm yeah. in the same shoes. Mm-hmm. I, see, I feel like I'm actually we're to a place where I'm like, Boundaries is needed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's necessary, or I'm gonna burn out quick. Absolutely, mm-hmm. and that's where you don't want to be. Yeah. yeah. So for me, with real estate balance is yeah. also for sure. That's the big, hardest. Big that's a big one. I think for me, it is not being too hard on myself. Mm-hmm. 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 And I tell Ariana this all the time. Mm-hmm. It's just like you know how, like I'm in my second year. We're in our first few years. A lot of people don't kind of do what we've been doing, and I don't take the time. Sit down to take the time to appreciate, to, to appreciate mm-hmm. and to just what celebrate mm-hmm. what I'm doing, what I've been doing, where I am right now. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like you're always like you're trying to get to that. You have to do more, and I think that really like 
affects me yes, in a way that I, sometimes I have to be like, okay, Tyson, you just got to sit down. You just got to yeah. sit back and just like live in where you are and yes. appreciate mm-hmm. where you are. Absolutely. And I've kind of been doing that like this past week out of the whole year, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> the 52 this, weeks of the year. The 52 weeks of the year. one. I was taking the time to like, okay, Tyson, like be thankful and yeah. be happy and, and just like, You've really accomplished yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's just like that's what my struggle is. It's just always feeling like even though chasing. I've done this, yeah. still chasing, chasing. On the something. On the chasing yeah. Yeah. yeah, because real estate is like, like I said, limitless. It is. It's it is. limitless. You set high goals, you set high expectations. So. Yeah. I think that's my struggle. Especially when you reach a certain goal, you're like, whoa, I can go mm-hmm. more. Right. Right. <laughs> right. right. What's next? Yeah. This is my girl. Yeah. Enjoy what you like right now. Yeah. Right. I'm like, okay. Soak it in. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the hardest thing for me is like a compilation of everything y'all yeah. just said. Like, <laughs> I, um, and Aria, I know we've talked about it like on our one on one calls. It's really me. I feel like I can't service my clients the best way possible unless I like really pour into myself Mm -hmm. first so really like taking time out to focus on me and what I need personally I feel like once I do that I'm able to exude that energy to my clients Mm -hmm. also yeah Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. and again it's sometimes I feel like almost what's the word I'm looking for like not stingy but like when I try to take time out for myself I feel like I could be using that time to put you know something my clients or something exactly so like finding that balance between the two that's the hardest thing for me. That's really good. Yeah. I like that. Okay. We're going to make it, ladies. <laughs> we'll get through we it. We're going to find balance. We're going to get out. We got to appreciate. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We appreciation. Mm-hmm. All oh the things. God. That's really good. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, this is again a wrap up for this episode. Episode thirty. Episode, episode wow. thirty <laughs> with a very very special guest, Ariane. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Yes. We are Pleasure. so appreciative. That was yes. amazing. amazing. Let amazing everybody know where they can find you, where they can follow you. Yes, you guys can find me on Instagram. My personal page is my dear underscore Ariane. Um, my team page, the AE team page is the AE team Atlanta and the AE Academy is my new training platform. Registration is going to be launching this December and um, the Academy will begin in January of 2023. So that's how you guys can find me. All right. Awesome. Perfect. Y'all know where to find us. Instagram, yes. YouTube, subscribe, like, follow, comment. All that. <laughs> Do all, all the it. things. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode. Join us next week where River will be back in yes. her beloved yes. But until then, have a great week, y'all. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, you team takeover. <laughs> <laughs>